Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this is the OnePlus Pad with its folio keyboard. And I have to say, I've really enjoyed using this, this tablet, and this might be the best Android tablet of 2023. And you're going, really Thunder E? Yes. Now, if you're joining me for the very first time, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and get yourself ready for more videos just like this. So the OnePlus Pad, why is it so good and why do I like it? Let's start off from the very, uh, just the very first point, it's price. It's priced at 479, which is a very good price point for a tablet, I mean, any tablet in general. And the specs you have with this actually go in hand in hand. You've got an 11.6 inch display, resolution is 2800 by 2000, uh, a refresh rate is 144, so as a gamer, I do like that refresh rate. You also have quad speakers around this device, front facing camera, a rear camera around that ring. And then uh, it is powered by the Dimensity uh, 9000 chipset, which does a lot of heavy lifting. And we know it's quite a capable chipset itself. Now, in terms of battery, we're looking at a, a battery life of around 12.5 hours. I'll say for me, it's been around 11 hours, which is something I wish it landed, lasted a little longer. Uh, and it does have SuperVoke uh, fast charging at 65 watts. So that aspect actually is pretty cool. Now, in terms of RAM, we're looking at eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. So what does this mean in general? Like I mentioned, price is the first key thing. I like the price point. For the tablet alone at 479, you're getting something that functions really well and has some really good specs. Now you pair that with some of the accessories, either being the keyboard and the pen, you have much more. But before we get to the accessories, let's talk a bit about that performance. We know what the Dimensity 9000 can do benchmark wise. We don't care about that. But when we talk about gaming on the tablet, I really liked using this on the road to game. When I was playing Call of Duty Mobile, it handled pretty well. Of course, gaming on the tablet can be a little bit difficult. You might want to use a controller, but I definitely use the touchscreen, which has 144 hertz touch sampling as well. And Call of Duty Mobile ran at 88, 89 frames per second. There I played some Apex Legends, and that also did a solid 60 frames per second. We moved over to PUBG Mobile, where we're seeing on Ultra HD Ultra, 40 frames per second, which is to be expected. And on Extreme HDR, we got 60 frames per second. So great performance there. And now you guys are probably wondering, what about Genshin Impact? Genshin, we got about 57 to 60 frames per second for around the 25 minutes of gameplay that I did. So it did that well, but the cool thing about Genshin is that it did not run hot. So I did like that about it, especially if you're gonna be using a tablet like this to game for a longer period of time. So that was actually pretty cool. Now I mentioned the accessories. You've got this folio keyboard, which is great for typing and its price point is 149. And I think still at that combined packaging, you're looking at something that handles really well and gives you a good typing experience. You've also got the ability to, of course, the, the magnetic lock to lock it back in, a nice keyboard with good key travel and a trackpad that works really well and is super smooth. I did wish you could do several tilting angles on this on this uh, folio keyboard case, but mm, you know, that's beside the point. There also is a pen for the um, OnePlus uh, uh, pad and the pen works fairly well. It's not too responsive in terms of textures or, or thickness, but if you want to take some quick notes on your device, you can do that with the OnePlus pen. If you're going to ask me what combo I do like best, I prefer just the keyboard and uh, the tablet. That's what I actually carried most, uh, most of the time with me. I didn't carry my pen as much for the last two to three weeks I've been using this device. So what about audio? What about speakers? How well are the speakers? Well, let's listen to some, some gaming and then some music off this. Target's in sight. Pretty good, very crisp sound, clean and clear. Plus you've got Dolby Atmos so you can select smart profiles like of course movies, music, gaming to fit your 
your various needs or you can just keep it on you know smart auto which will allow you to just automatically select that while you're uh either gaming or watching uh movies now when you look at this device part of your brain goes how about how does it compare to the ipad and that's the first thing everyone asks and i'm not comparing it to that device because the apple ecosystem benefits from the fact that apple has done a great job with their tablets with optimizing software and also having a ton of apps that take advantage of the screen size and that now that's not the case here because google hasn't done its job on android's uh, tablet ecosystem there practically is none it all is always left to the developers themselves there's some really fun gestures on this device which i'm not going to show you because i really like it purely for the entertainment and consumption value on if you're an android user and you want to have a tablet that you can actually do some light work on whether you're answering emails uh, if you're editing on CapCut or something like that then sure this device is for you uh, and you also want to watch your content and game it does it perfectly now on the downside of this device i would say the standby time has not been that great for me uh the battery life is as close as to be expected from what a uh, oneplus state but standby isn't that great also the device has uh a glossy back that is fingerprint magnet just don't like it at all it just it looks really murky and the cameras are not great you can see the footage yourself uh, they are decent maybe at best it will work out for your webcams if you need to take video conferencing calls but that's not where the main focus is so tell me guys what do you think about the oneplus pad is it something you are looking to pick up because you're like i need an android tablet and this actually fits the mold for me uh, or would you just pass on and get an ipad or get something else don't forget to subscribe and like this video and always enjoy entertainment